welcome back Your dreams were your ticket I Welcome back Hello class, my name is Mr. Jeter and it's good to see those smiling faces Today we're going to be talking about uh, profit maximization using the profit maximization chart. Generally, these charts are used when businesses want to just track their money, uh, their, their, their schedule, stuff of that nature, see if they're doing well on profit. I'm going to go ahead and go over it a little slow, make sure you got a good understanding of how to go over the profit chart. Okay. Here's an example of a profit chart. Some things are going to be given. For instance, output will be given to you. Variable cost will be given to you, and the MR will be given to you. We know MR as the e equilibrium price tag. That's the marginal revenue or equilibrium price tag. There's certain things that are going to be given and certain things that will be constant. So when you get your cart chart, don't be uh, caught off guard thinking, well, I can't do this. Keep everything simple. I believe in simplicity. Okay. So again, these numbers that are given, certain things are fixed. Okay. For instance, fixed costs. Fixed costs don't change. So right off the bat, you want to go ahead and put in your fixed cost in the fixed cost line. Again, fixed costs are fixed. So you just go ahead and put those in there ahead of time. Also, with, also uh, they've given you the MR, marginal revenue. This is marginal revenue. You can go ahead and put that number in there as well. And here is 12. Again, marginal revenue we know as equilibrium. Okay, that will be a given for you. Now we're gonna to try to fill in the chart. Okay, total cost would be your variable cost plus your fixed cost. And notice, even with zero output, I do have fixed costs. So we add those up. Here's eight. Okay. Five plus eight, 13. Nine plus eight, 17. 12 plus eight, that's 20. 14 plus eight. 22, 15 plus eight, $23. Here's our total cost for producing nothing, for producing one output, two output is $17, three output is $20, four products, $22, five products, $23, and so on. Okay. Now, marginal cost is the difference from that previous uh, product to the current product. For instance, for zero output, there is no marginal cost and there's no previous output. Now, from zero to one, what's the difference between $8 and $13? That's $5, okay? Again, marginal cost is the difference from the previous unit and the current unit, okay? And just go down the line. 13 from 17, what's, what's the difference? Four dollars, seventeen and twenty, three dollars, twenty and twenty-two, two dollars, one dollar. Okay. Notice how the marginal cost in this example is going down as you produce each additional unit. Okay. Now, marginal revenue, like I said, was a given. It goes all the way down. Total revenue would be the output times that marginal revenue, okay? One times 12 is 12. Two times 12 is 24. Three times 12 is 36. Four times 12 is uh, 48. Five times 12 is uh, 70. Again, total revenue is the output times the margin revenue, that's your total revenue for each unit of output. Okay. Now, let's see if we got profit, okay? To do profit, you're gonna take the uh, total cost, subtract it from total revenue, okay? So for one item, my total cost was $13, my total revenue was $12, I lost on this first unit. Okay, I lost money on the first unit. Okay. For my second unit, total cost 17 to 24. That's a total of what? $7. I'm going to grab a calculator because I like to grab calculators. 
seven dollars. See how much I know it was, Seven dollars. That's seven dollars. The profit. Again, what you're looking at is the total cost, subtracting from total revenue. 20 from 36. That one's easy. It's a $16 profit. A 22 from 48. That is a $26 of profit. 28. 23 from 70. Calculate for. Seven, right? Forty-seven dollars worth of profit. Okay. In this example, I'm starting to build up profit, and I need each additional unit. But as you as you know, the the uh, equation for profit is MR equals MC. MR equals MC. As long as I'm in that area of MR equals MC, I'm going to have profit. As I go above that, though, I'm going to start losing money. Okay. Remember, we're talking about shortages and surpluses. You know, that room for this graph. Remember, supply and demand come together. This area is my MR, the equilibrium price tag. Generally, as long as I'm producing within this area, I'm going to make money. So, all this production is within this area. I'm doing some profit. If it's too low, I'm going to have a shortage. I'm not going to produce. If it's too high, I'm going to have a surplus. I'm not going to produce. So as long as MR is equal to MC, which is in this band here, we're going to be creating profit. And the majority of this is within that band. Any questions, make sure you give it me. Uh, I'm Mr. Jeter. I just went over the profit maximization chart. Thumbs up. Have a good day.